President of Europe, Nobel Radio 1, world's most important music events. And now, this summer, we'll be awarding the Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy Center. Just half And to keep the whole of you. A great way to start any day. Hello everybody and what is going on? So today I thought it would be a good idea to do a little closet tour, give you a sort of brief introduction into my personal style and just to show you what's going on in the background of all of my videos in general. However, a quick disclaimer, if you click this video and you are not familiar with my channel, thinking you're gonna see a sick Supreme collection or some kind of hypebeast hideout haven, you will be very, very disappointed simply because my personal style mainly revolves around vintage fashion. It's vintage at its core, but it does branch out sometimes to hypebeast fashion, streetwear fashion, contemporary fashion, the list goes on. But the foundation of my style revolves around vintage fashion. In before, it must be cold in here because there's no heat. In before, why did I click on this video? In before, I didn't know Shia LaBeouf had a YouTube channel. One exclusively as Networth 19. The biggest all British rock show ever staged. So let's jump into the closet tour. So a super quick introduction to my rail. The rail is somewhat colour blocked. You got your whites, your creams, your darker creams, your grey, your colours, your beige and khakis, and to your greys and blacks. I organise my clothes like this because I like everything to be organised. I wanted some form of system to my rail and I wanted to appease the OCD gods. So colour blocking on purpose. The Saint TK Max. So we're gonna start from dark colors to light colors. And the first jumper that we have is this thrifted Halloween Knott's Scary Farms 1997 memorabilia sweatshirt. So this was thrifted. I intended to wear it on Halloween. Didn't end up wearing it on Halloween. Small man ting on the front, big man ting on the back. Halloween up. Halloween seven years of fears. Summing up my teenage experience. Next jumper that we have is a vintage champion sweatshirt. One of the first vintage pieces that I ever bought. It's a size large, baggy boys for life. Quick champion stamp on the front there, and that is it. Black turtleneck when you wanna dress up like Steve Jobs. Also thrifted as well, hold tight myself. Quick fire round of all of my black t-shirts. We've got the Doom t-shirt. We've got a Nike t-shirt with an edgy little swoosh on the top there. Benny Culture sent me this t-shirt. It looks very, very wavy, reminds me of Mad Men. It's all good, it's all good. A gosh a t-shirt that I got from Dover Street Market because I was feeling very high fashion one day. An anti-hero t-shirt. And that's a sweatshirt, that shouldn't be here. So now we're moving on to the next batch of clothes. Starting off with this cool vest, very fiddler on the roof. That is not a euphemism, but I quite like it, especially if I want to get my Macklemore aesthetics on. Next, we have this long sleeve Ralph Lauren t-shirt. I actually thrifted this with Chop Suey when we did that 15 pound thrift shop challenge. It was the undershirt in that particular challenge, but I kept it because it's a nice, you know, shirt on its own. Next, we have the first turtleneck that I bought. This again was thrifted. It looks quite good when you pair it with other greens, like a green bomber jacket, looking very, very James Bond. Next, we have the Burberry shirts, which weren't thrifted. This one, I actually bought off eBay. Found it on eBay! For like 70 pounds. I was really, really itchy for a Burberry piece. So I decided it was time to bite the bullet, hold tight eBay in its elusive ways. I've got this other Burberry shirt that I got off Depop. I got this one for about 50 pounds, but because it's a lighter color I think it looks a little bit more smart than it does casual So that's why I had to buy the second shirt So now you can look wavy in two different tones very very nice and we have this menace jumper I think the recommended retail price for this is like 40 45 pounds So get yourself a discount code where you can find one. So next up. We have all of my colors clean modern styling even though it's full autumn time, I do feel less inclined to wear colorful clothes. Every time I look at the weather and the mood, I do feel to wear more dark tones, dark colors, but every now and then you have to switch it up. So why not wear an orange Ralph Lauren t-shirt? This is thrifted. Quick little tip, if you're after Ralph Lauren, you don't have to buy it brand new. Go to any charity shop. You are bound to find a Ralph Lauren piece there and for like a tenth of the price. Next up, we have this t-shirt. I don't actually wear this as often as I should. I just thought it looked really nice. This is just a plain color t-shirt. Not really much to say. It's blue, it's green, till maybe.
vintage old Shia t-shirt. I believe this is some kind of surfing brand. I'm quite liking the print throughout, so front and back. Now we've got some V Saint Little Ron. Please don't take that seriously. So yes, we've got some V Saint Laurent. This I thrifted as well. A very, very classy piece. Nothing says classy more than your big off brand name on the torso of a t-shirt. Mad. And lastly, we've got your uncle's favorite polo, the vintage Lyle and Scott. This shirt is oozing character. Next, we're gonna move on to the gray and cream color block of the wardrobe. So here we have a champion sweatshirt. <laughs> Just the basic shirt that goes with pretty much anything. An essential item of clothing, the bread and butter in any wardrobe. A grey t-shirt, nice and neutral. Little bit of flex with the Ralph Lauren Little Pony. The shirt may or may not be fake. Argue in the comment section. Next, we've got this jumper that I actually thrifted a couple of days ago. I wanted to build up my wardrobe to be a little bit more warm because we are heading towards the colder months. I mean, it's November now. So I picked this up to add a little bit of class to my wardrobe. Next, we have this Stussy Zebra jumper. Now, it's made of mohair. So so you gotta wear a t-shirt under it because it's very itchy. But I quite like this jumper because it's very in your face. Next, we have the complete opposite of the zebra jumper. Well, it's still a jumper. It's very, very plain, very clean, subtle. Vintage St. Michael, you done know. Wear this to a smart casual event. It's lamb's wool. This is that meet your girlfriend's parents type jumper. Mud. Supreme thermal long sleeve t-shirt. Waffle pattern for waffle gang. Start your good breakfast with Eggo waffles. Small Supreme logo on the bottom there. Annoy all your hypebeast friends by saying you got a box logo and lastly for this block we have my most prized possession the best thrift of all time the Ralph Lauren P-Wing <laughs> Got it from a charity shop unknowingly for a pound. I just saw the Ralph Lauren label and thought, bun it, I'm gonna buy it. Almost put it on my Depop page for like 20 pounds. A very, very rare item of clothing. I think Ralph Lauren re-released this, but I think it was on like the purple range. So they're trying to sell him for like a ridiculous price. One pound, charity shop. And before you ask, I'm very, very sorry, but it is not for sale. It will never be for sale. It's mine now. So lastly, we're gonna move on to the white t-shirts. So firstly, we have the white white kappa control mock neck. You got the kappa logo going all around the collar there. Up in that turtleneck game, bruv. Sick mate t-shirt just to say that I've got my own t-shirt. These shirts are now retired, but if you want me to come out with a new t-shirt or a new design or some kind of clothing collection, please leave your comments in the comment section down below. Palace statue t-shirt. I did buy this for the summer. I was considering selling it when I was going for a mad purge for all of my streetwear clothes, but I decided to keep it simply because that statue design though, she's holding the P. But if you didn't cop this T, you're holding the L. The white version of that Nike metallic swoosh tee. I just thought it was a really cool idea to put that there. What are you doing to me, Nike? Last year I said you was a dead brand, but now smashing it. Plain white champion tee, it's a size medium for a little bit more of a tighter fit and just some any brand button up shirts. There's nothing to say about these shirts, they're just white button up shirts. Lastly, I do have a packable Supreme poncho. I've got this little palace clip as well. So this whole thing that we have here is something I like to call functional flex. So let me just show you this poncho. I think this was last year's collection, but it's a very, very useful item if you've remembered to bring it out with you, which I hardly ever do. Every time it does rain, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, why did I leave this behind? The whole point of it being packable is that you can bring it with ease. But here it is, very, very rainproof. And it's got some matting on the back there. So now I've got to roll this back up and put it back in its pouch. And that is my closet tour. Now, I know what you're thinking. What, do you not wear trousers? Do you just walk around with just t-shirts and no bottoms? What are you, reverse Tarzan? Well, I'll be perfectly honest, I have a lot of trousers. So the trousers could have a whole video to themselves. So if you want to see a trousers collection video, then please leave your comments in the comments section down below. And that is actually where I'm going to end today's video. So let me know in the comment section down below which one of these items of clothing was your favorite. Me, personally, it will always be like my champion clothes and the P-Wing. And just to let you know, my wardrobe changes like every two weeks. So everything that you saw in my closet today might not necessarily be there in a month's time. But with that being said, I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight into my personal style. I will be doing a video very, very soon about my personal style. It will just be a lot more in depth 
yet, but all in all, these are all the clothes that I wear as of right now. The only thing that I will say regarding personal style is that my personal style is always changing, it's always evolving, it's going back and forth non-stop, and that's just half the fun. So if you like this video, then you can give it a nice little like. If you want to subscribe and see if more of what I do, because I do a lot of fashion-based stuff, lifestyle-based stuff, and style-based stuff, then you can by using the subscribe button that can be located anywhere on this web page here. Share this video with your friends. And now, that is everything. Bye.